I tried to come up with some cool intro for the video, but it's just a plate carry video. So here we go. All right, it's uh, late 2023. It's been a few years since I did a plate carry video. So I'm gonna do a little update. Some things have changed, some things haven't. But anyway, here we go. Plate carrier, same one, AR500 uh, Veritas. It's got the cummerbund kit, which gives you, uh, you know, the cummerbund with the mollies and the things. Uh, Velcro up front, that's pretty cool. It came, uh, originally came with just the, the Velcro, not the Velcro, the, the little clips, yeah. A little single strap with the little quick clips on the side. Uh, that works great for like a slick down version, but I wanted something that could hold a little more things. So I got the cummerbund kit. Um, one thing that I've got different uh, up front is this triple mag pouch from Warrior 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 Warrior, Warrior Assault Systems. W A S Warrior Assault Systems. Anyway, uh, it's a placard style. It got the it got the swift clips up top, so I can click it in, lay it flat. Uh, the main reason I did that is because the cummerbund kit that came with here came with here. The cummerbund kit that came with the AR500 Veritas um, had a lot of Velcro layers. It was weird how it worked. It like went into the little kangaroo pocket and then flapped down and was Molly and Velcro. And so then you had just a lot of different layers. But anyway, this has Velcro on the back so it can flap down and cover up the cummerbund piece right here. So it's working out great. Anyway. Main difference, I went from three mags up front to six. I've got two double pouches. As you can see, two P mags in each one. The next best thing about this um, mag pouch placard, it holds P mags. A lot of these double mag pouches, uh, like the USGI style ones, they're made for the steel mags. They're a little bit shorter. Um, they don't have ribs on them, you know, for her pleasure, whatever. They don't have ribs, they're slick. So they're a little bit smaller, they fit in the USG almonds perfect. P mags are a little bit bigger. They've got bumpy things on the side. They don't fit real great. It's hard to get them in and out because they're the the bumps are rubbing up against each other. They're catching on the edges of the pouches, all that kind of stuff. But like I said, this one, P mags go in and out just fine. Got six P mags right here. Since we're on the uh, topic of magazines, we'll go right here. I've got two more. One here, one here. These are in Ferro Concepts, little elastic pouches. Can't remember the name. They go up under the cummerbund and all this Velcro madness right here. But it's just a little elastic sleeve with a thing on the bottom. And you can fit um, a radio. I've had a radio in this one before. Uh, you can fit an extra magazine. I can pull them out and it'll flatten out and go slick, a little lighter weight if I want to, if I feel like I'm too heavy. But anyway, right now I've got a PMAG on this side and a steel mag on this side with a little pull. Uh, so that gives me eight total mags right here. And then on my belt, I've got two more, one in the gun, that's 11 for all you math wizards. Um, so yeah, main thing, I went from three mags right here on the old system to six mags right here. Um, been watching some different videos, listening to different people talk about philosophy on magazines. And I just felt like it'd be a good idea to add as many as I could on here without being like ridiculous. So uh, that's why I went with six up front. The next thing, uh, we got things to make holes, things to stop holes. It's got steel plates from AR500. Um, they're like, they're kind of old, so they're not probably like the new ones. I can't remember, they got different like P1, A1, A2, whatever. They're steel, they're curved. They're level three, whatever, they stop rifles. Um, along that, uh, things to stop holes, med pouch right here. I used to have the tourniquet over here, but now the tourniquet is, you know, in the top of this pouch right there. I've got some other things, some uh, combat gauzes, some bandages, chest seal, things like that. Uh, yes, I know how to use them. I'm an EMT and a firefighter, so I know how to use this stuff and whatever. Uh, yeah, got my blood type cool guy patches on here to let everybody know um, I'm cool and it's a med pouch right here I've got a uh, double mag pouch uh, I think it's condor you know you can say what you want about condor it's holding a multi-tool and a mag pouch it doesn't have to be that high speed or fancy 
Uh, I got it over here because my radio is right here. I like the radio here because the antenna comes off the, this side of the radio and it goes, you know, straight up the shoulder right here. It's kind of a flexible deal. This is a uh, Baofeng UV5R with an extended battery. Fits great. The pouch is a, um, a USGI double mag pouch. Fits the radio perfectly. Um, and it was cheap. It's kind of used, so it blends in a little better to this uh, not ACU pattern. Anyway, a surplus mag pouch. It's cheap. You can find them anywhere, and it holds the radio just fine. Beside it, I have a, um, this is actually my night vision pouch. It started as a one quart canteen pouch. That's what it is. Um, a lot of people use it for GP pouches, other sorts of things. But this has a um, insert. It's got like a, um, a foam stiff insert in there for my night vision to protect it. Um, I got the insert on Amazon. It's like seven bucks or something like that for two of them. So that way I can use one on here. I can use one on a chest rig, whatever. Seven bucks, seven, eight bucks for two of them. But it makes the, uh, it's made to fit in the, the uh, canteen pouch. And it just gives it a little bit of rigidity and some protection from my night vision. Um, so now I've got night vision on my plate carrier. I'm going to take it with me. It's not super easy and quick to get to, but it's on here and it's kind of, the best place to have it i can't really put it here because you know when i get my pistol you know for the, the high speed stuff it's going to kind of be in the way and um i just wanted something a little smaller over here so anyway uh yeah my radio here's my uh my push to talk with my remote uh remote mic um on the back i've got this uh, this big gp pouch i know it's kind of big right now it looks big it is big um but when I put this on, like all that stuff's probably gonna come out anyway. I've got like a, a beanie in there for cold weather, like a, a fleece um, toboggan beanie, whatever you wanna call it. Uh, I've got a, um, it's not a net gator, it's like a balaclava, whatever. The, it shows this much of your face. So I can put that on, it can keep, it's thin, so it can keep the sun off of me. Uh, it can keep a little bit of wind off of me. It can cover up my face, my identity, if I need to be kind of incognito, you know what I mean? Uh, it's got that and like a, a shemog, you know, like the scarf thing. There's a lot of different things you can do with those. So those are the things that are in there. And like I said, they can, you know, they can smush flat if they need to. Um, like if I'm riding in a side-by-side, -side, a car, whatever, while I'm wearing this, it can smush flat and I won't be that uncomfortable. Is there anything else back here? I don't think so. Anyway, so we've got one pistol mag. I've got a multi-tool for all of you multi-tool guys that want to see it. It's the Leatherman Mutt. It's like the military one. It's made for AR-15s. It's got like carbon scrapers and clicky carabiner thing, seatbelt cutter, a uh, saw blade for, you know, cutting down trees and what have you. Uh, it's got a lot of cool stuff on there. It just goes right here. It also has get it back in there a little wrench right here. Um, these fits a half inch and three eighths. Half inch is really popular. Uh, you can do a lot of things with it. Also, I think it fits some of my scope mounts. So if I need to tighten it, loosen it, take it off for whatever reason in the field, I can do that. So I can work on things. I can kind of clean my gun a little bit. I can cut things. Um, I can take scopes on and off with that guy. So I think that's pretty much got the gist of everything on my plate carrier. Um, like I said, it's a work in progress. I'm always kind of changing things depending on different scenarios, different philosophies, how I think I'm going to use it, how things that I think aren't necessary, whatever. Um, you know, if you've got any ideas, things I need to put on here, like mission critical type stuff, like pin, you know, some people probably say a pen, a notepad, some kind of like admin stuff. Um, you know, let me know. I might might uh, might try to figure out how to add it in somewhere. A lot of that stuff is probably going to go um, like in a backpack. I've got a um, like an assault backpack. Uh, that I usually wear with this if I'm 
going somewhere, you know, long distance or the mission calls for it. So I can put water in the backpack. I can put more clothing, cold weather stuff, wet weather stuff. If it's hot weather, you know, I can put some sunscreen, something to keep sun off of me, hat, whatever, uh, that sort of thing. All that crap will go in a backpack. So that's why I don't have like a hydration carrier on here. Um, Cause I don't plan on having to wear this for like a really long time. If I'm going out in the woods, I'm having to like march a long way, not march, but like patrol a long way. I'm not gonna wear this. I'm probably gonna wear a chest rig or um, I've got a flick, like a old army surplus flick, the ACU style ones. It's got mesh up here, it's real thin distributes weight really well it's got two canteens on it a lot of mags that's what i'm going to wear if i'm having to patrol or go for a long period of time where i need a lot of water um, i can put water wear that flick with a backpack with extra water and extra ammo you know that sort of thing these like shoulder pads they're kind of padded and stuff and this and backpack straps don't mix very well so anyway all that stuff's not hard and fast rules for me either i hope you know I'm always changing the way I do things. Uh, but anyway, this is what's on here. My belt. I've got two more mags on my belt. Like I said, I've got a handgun mag. Um, I'm looking over here because that's where my belt is. Here. Yeah. This my belt right here. Um, got my Glock 17 with a light on it. Another tourniquet. Gloves. Uh, pistol mag. Two AR mags with mag pods. This is another little multi-tool. I think that's a Gerber. It's like made for AR-15s and crap. Dump pouch, rip away, uh, med pouch with stuff, and yeah, fancy thigh strap. This disconnects Safari Land holster, all that cool stuff. So anyway, I've got a pretty good bit of stuff. Uh, the belt might be another video by itself because this is plate carry video. We're gonna focus on plate carry stuff. Big changes from last video, more mags, uh, pistol mags right here, tourniquet down here, radio, and night vision have been added. So I think I got it pretty much figured out for now. I'm sure it'll change at some point. If it does, I'll let you know. Y'all be good, stay safe, do some exercising, lift weights, run, get yourself ready for whatever's coming. We'll see y'all next time.